What's happening, my Jack family? Coach Scott here, Jack at the 40.com Today's video is all about TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, because for the past couple of weeks, it's all I have been seeing on YouTube, and it's mainly because a few popular YouTubers have come out to share that they have been on testosterone replacement therapy. And I gotta say, I really appreciate this full disclosure and transparency. I know there's gonna be some who argue that it's nobody's business if you are on TRT or even steroids. And I disagree. If you've got a following of people who look up to you and who may see your physique as something that they wish to aspire to as well, and they are natural lifters, you may be setting a standard that is unachievable to them. I mean, genetic aside and hard work and all that aside, it's still, I think it really, I think it's in everyone's best interest if we have some full disclosure. And I think there's a lot of great discussions that can come about um, when we are open and transparent with uh, whether we're on testosterone replacement therapy or not, whether we're taking steroids or not. Um, I just think, just seeing for the past couple weeks, there have been a lot of great discussions around TRT because there's a lot of misinformation out there. Um, so it's really been great to kind of get a lot of perspectives out there and see people kind of digging deep, doing their research and seeing if testosterone replacement therapy is a smart option for themselves. The surprising thing is that all these fitness YouTubers are young. These aren't the typical men over 40 that you think we'd be having these kinds of conversations about. These are young guys and one of them came out and said like the basic reason he was going on TRT is because he felt that he had reached his genetic potential and he's going on TRT to kind of take it to that next level. And it's all about building muscle for him, competitive bodybuilder, just wanting to develop his best physique. So really kind of looking for those steroid-like effects, um, which is a far cry from my fellow bros, my, some of my fellow fitness pros who are on testosterone replacement therapy, the biggest reasons that they have gone on TRT, uh, these are all men over 40, is mainly because of the lifestyle factors of how low testosterone has impacted their life. They're feeling a lot of brain fog. They were feeling fatigued all the time, low libido. Some of them were experiencing some mild forms of depression. So really doing it for a lot of the cognitive and lifestyle style benefits, not so much about the muscle building benefits. And this is where I think there'd be a great service to our fellow men over 40 if our fellow fitness pros and, and or even just fitness YouTubers who have an audience that is following them, if they are open and transparent about their TRT use, they can talk about why they are using it, the impact on their lives before TRT and then the differences after TRT, uh, the good and the bad, just sharing more of these stories about each other because it's, it's a big deal for us men over 40, our testosterone health, our hormone health, it's a big deal. A lot of us haven't talked about this kind of stuff in the past, especially the symptoms that come with low testosterone or the symptoms that happen after going on testosterone replacement therapy. So it's really, I think it's really important that we're, we get this discussion kind of going and, and the more open and honest we are with each other, about the use, um, I, I think it's just going to do a great service to our fellow men over 40 out there. But the first important step is to actually get the blood work done to see if I actually needed to be on testosterone replacement therapy to begin with. So on February 9th, 2017, at the age of 41 years old, for the first time, I got blood work done specifically to look at my testosterone levels, came in at 18.1. You can convert that to 522 NG over DL. Uh, and the typical range, the normal range for this testing lab is between 8.4 and 28. So 18.1 is smack dab in the middle. 522 is basically smack dab in the middle for healthy testosterone levels, especially for us men over 40. So I was really happy to see that. The downside is that my free testosterone was only 204. Normal range for this lab is 196 to 636. So you can see I am borderline low when it came to free testosterone, which could explain some of the, the low testosterone testosterone symptoms that I was experiencing at the time. Uh, but again, like leaving that office, the doctor was saying, you know what, the free testosterone that can change throughout the day, can change from day to day. Um, really take that number with a grain of salt. Things look good. Just report back on, on some of the symptoms that you're having. Um, basically just sent me on my way. So I left the office feeling pretty darn good. My testosterone levels were normal and I just attributed some of those symptoms that I was experiencing to the stresses that were going on in my life at the time. And once I manage those stresses, 
all those symptoms went away. I started feeling great again. So I basically went three years without really feeling the need to get my testosterone levels checked. And then earlier this year, March 3rd, 2020, I got my levels checked again because I started experiencing some of those symptoms once again. Uh, and this time I got my blood work done through Let's Get Checked. It's a home blood test kit that you can uh, get your whole male hormone uh, profile um, tested. You, you basically, they send you a kit in the mail, you do a finger prick, send the sample back off to their labs, and then within a few days, you get your results back, you get a call from their nurse, and uh, my testosterone levels looked fantastic. My testosterone levels were now at 21.1, which works out to be about 608.56, which is higher than where it was three years ago, but their testing methods are different. It's a finger prick compared to the veins in your arms, and the range is also different. You're looking at a range of 7.6 to 31.4, which is their average range, so it's a, it's a bit of a larger range, so that, that may even kind of, kind of play off a little discrepancy in the numbers there. So although it looks like I'm higher, I may not actually be higher testosterone levels. My free androgen index was 32.5. Normal range is 24 to 104. So once again, free testosterone was on the lower end there. Not so much borderline, but still, I mean, that's two tests that's showing my free testosterone levels are on the lower end. But even though my free testosterone was borderline low, I'm still pretty happy and confident with my testosterone levels, but it didn't explain why I was feeling some of the symptoms that come with experiencing low testosterone. That was until I looked a little bit deeper into the blood work, saw that the SHBG was higher than normal, but the big red flag was that my prolactin levels were incredibly high, like ridiculously high. Um, and that, if you have high prolactin levels, it can you can get, experience all the same side effects of low testosterone. So immediately they advised me to book a consultation with my doctor, get more blood work done, and uh, kind of get to the bottom of what was going on, see if I needed to take any actions uh, to reduce those prolactin levels. And go figure, this was a time when COVID hit, the lockdowns happened, and it was a long time before I was actually able to get in and get some blood work done. It wasn't until June 5th, 2020. And knowing that it was gonna be a while, I decided, you know what? I'm going to be very proactive right now and kind of take things into control with my overall lifestyle. I started getting into a consistent sleep wake pattern, making sure I was getting at least seven to nine hours of quality sleep each and every night. Uh, really focused on my stress management, really being present in the moment, um, really doing like unwinding at the end of the night, doing a journal brain dump to get all the thoughts out of my head so I could have a great restful sleep. Um, no electronics before bed to anything that could possibly stress me out or anything. Just uh, went outside, was watching sunsets, reading my book, doing some self-massage, just chilling uh, and improving my nutrition even more so. So June 5th, got my blood work done, came back 14.5, which works out to be 418 NG over DL, which is the lowest measurement that I have ever gotten. Uh, but the lab, it, they've gone through some different testing measures. So the range even varied. This is different uh, range than it was before. Looking at 7.4 to 25 as the norm. Uh, and still 14.5 is kind of in that mid range for this testing. It's maybe a little bit lower than the mid range than I had tested before, but very, very, very close to that mid range when it comes to testosterone levels. So uh, even though it was lower than the 18.1 that this lab had tested me before, uh, I was still pretty happy with this number. And I had to, again, you had to take with a grain of salt because the, whatever, the, the, the calculation, the equation that they're using to measure the testosterone levels is now different. But the one good thing to see was that my free testosterone was now higher at 314 compared to the 204 that I was three years ago. But again, different testing measures here. And they even have a little disclaimer at the top that some people may experience a 16% higher um, number when it comes to their free testosterone levels. But still, even this is higher than that 16%. And because of all these positive lifestyle changes I've been making, I have never felt better. I feel absolutely incredible. My testosterone levels are in the normal range. I really have, I don't see any need for me to go on testosterone replacement therapy anytime soon. So my goal right now in this moment is just to continue improving upon these lifestyle changes that I have made. I, can, I know I can still improve my overall sleep, sleep quality. I know I can continue to improve upon my nutrition even more than I am right now. I know I can do even more things to manage my stress. So really focusing on just optimizing my lifestyle overall and educating myself 
in the process when it comes to testosterone replacement therapy. Just the, the pros, the cons, um, in the literature, in the research, and from the experiences that my friends and colleagues are going through. And this, again, really comes down to the importance of sharing the experience together, being open, being honest, being transparent. Um, so if you are going, if you're on testosterone replacement therapy, I would love to hear from you down in the comment section below. What have your experiences been like while on it? What were your symptoms beforehand? How has your life improved? Do you see any kind of negative side effects to that? Are you considering, uh, so anyone who's not on testosterone replacement therapy right now, are you considering it? What are the reasons why you're considering it? Are you doing research yourself? Are you nervous about it? Because um, the main thing is that once you go on testosterone replacement therapy, you make that decision to go on it, you are basically on it for life. There's no reason why you should go off it and you can experience some negative consequences from going off it. So you're basically, you make that decision, I want to go on TRT, consider it a lifestyle for the rest of your life. So you got to be prepared for that. That's not something that I am prepared for. I'm not going to do it prematurely. Um, I'm not going to do it if I really, if things could keep going the way they're going, there's no reason for me to go on TRT if I am feeling great. And I'm incredibly happy with how I look. Going on TRT would never be about gaining muscle. I'm really happy with the amount of muscle I have. If, if I only maintain my muscle for life, I would be happy. Again, my goal is to slowly and steadily add muscle. If I can gain a pound of muscle a year, I will be ecstatic. But like to me personally, adding five more pounds of muscle to my body isn't going to change my life in any way, shape, or form. It'd just be fun. Uh, I, I'm clearly fascinated with this lifestyle and fascinated with, with growth and improving myself. So it's something that I strive for. Um, but yeah, it's not going to change my life. Really, I don't think in any way, shape, or form other than just staying consistent with my, my growth-minded process, um, living life to my fullest, basically. Uh, this is just basically me being honest and transparent about my, my thoughts on TRT. I honestly don't know enough about it at this time. I'm starting to do my research and I'm really talking to a lot of my colleagues and I don't know enough about the, the negative consequences or even the, 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 positives that come with it. So um, I'm lucky I do surround myself with a lot of great people who are very knowledgeable in this area. So it's something that I'm going to be diving into a lot more because I do want to educate not just myself, but I, I want to make sure I have the information to share with you, my fellow bros over 40, um, who are looking to live your best life to the fullest. So it's really important that we keep this dialogue open and, and sharing our experiences together. We're here for each other. We're all going through it. It's, it's, it's very surprising to see how many men over 40 are, are struggling at this time and who could use help. So it's great to see that a lot of us are being more open throughout our journeys together. So I thank you for sharing your experiences with me and thank you for allowing me to share my experiences with you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, do him a favor and share it with them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, do so now and hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. Again, drop a comment down below to share your experiences and before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jacked After 40. Have yourself an amazing day. I'll catch you in the next video.